No. You can leave her it alone. Bro. Stop f so good to me. Yo, He's a harasser. Yeah. Harass your own fucking poor girl. <laughs> You're too old to be doing that. <laughs> Sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Alright, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so it's time to clock in. How you doing, bro? How you doing? You know, I was shooting a vlog. I told you guys I was gonna do more behind the scenes, show you guys a little bit more of my life. What about the health side? Alright, come show me your ass. Alright. <laughs> come show me your ass. I've been doing this thing called testosterone therapy. I'm 37 years old, I'm aging quickly, meaning I deal with some of the symptoms up here. Low energy, erectile dis... Mm, weight gain, <laughs> lack of confidence, lack of motivation, poor immunity, depression, anxiety, brain fog. A lot of this shit starts up as you start to get into your like, maybe even like late 20s, 30s. That's 30s. becoming more and more common. Drugs, alcohol, stress, bad food, all that stuff destroys your testosterone. Look at it like this. The number one CEO, he's jacked, high functioning. He wasn't like that when he first started. I don't know what he's on, but... I would assume it's testosterone. There's a lot of cellular and body related stuff that pretty much for this kind of stuff, anybody can do to make their body a better place. Yeah. The vast majority of our clients are entrepreneurs, people who are high functioning such as yourself. In the spirit of YouTube, I can't show this man sticking something in my ass right now. I'm gonna do a slight edit really quick. One, two, Oh three. my God, you're such an asshole for that, bro. He says one, two, three, and it hits me on one. And the hydration is very important, make sure you drink prime. I'm not a fucking doctor, by the way. I don't know what your body needs. There are side effects of testosterone treatment. You should look them up, talk to your doctor, figure all that shit out. Bro, can you believe still not a single soul has bought this house? Look how nice the furniture it's is. The conversation pit. I feel like when you have an idea, he's not recording, and when he's recording, you don't have any ideas. This conversation right. sucks. Rocky, can we stop, dude? I'm getting nauseous. Dude, it's wet. So what is up with you in this grass? Yeah, have you checked the engine? Well, yeah, they said plane just came out on maintenance. Alternator's good, like all that good. stuff. There's no alternator, but we're good, yeah. <laughs> Serpentine belt, the whole nine. All that stuff. Uh, it's all checked good, all of we're it. good. You want some Cheez-Its? I like some Cheez-Its on the plane. Oh, yeah? yeah? You want some Cheez-Its? We got our Prime, we got our Cheez-Its, and we're going to Vegas. Look at that plane, look at that Hey, Vicky. That's the plane you're coming back on by yourself. Oh, perfect. I've already done that. And now a word from our sponsors. Okay, guys, today's video is sponsored by The Sandbox. No, not this sandbox that I made specifically for this ad. The sandbox I'm talking about, just to remind you, is the giant interactive and playable world where you can build your life just the way you want it on the Ethereum blockchain. You can even design games and NFTs that earn you Sandcoin, which has real world value. Basically, guys, this is the metaverse. So all that stuff you guys hear us talking about on Impulsive, buying land, building houses to showcase and bring your NFTs to life, and even that viral record-breaking yacht that sold for $650 thousand dollars all happened inside the sandbox since we last talked the sandbox has continued blowing out partnerships with adidas gucci steve aoki snoop dogg the walking dead and more plus creators like me all curating insane experiences on the platform the first season of the Sandbox Alpha went absolutely crazy, and now season two is launching from March 3rd all the way to April 1st. You can check that out absolutely free, plus everyone who plays has a chance to win the season two Alpha Pass, which comes with 1,000 sand tokens, and all of that is at the link in the description below. So go check out season two at the link below. I'll be seeing you guys in the Sandbox very soon, and let's get back to the night shift, baby. <laughs> I got the puppies, yeah! We're having fun! <laughs> Oh, come on. Going the wrong way. Michael. Let's go to Valentine's Day. Make, make. I have Pringles. <laughs> We're set. I have Pringles and water. I wasn't going to tell you guys just yet, but Mark, Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister of Great Britain from 1979 to 1990, is here. Miss Thatcher? Why, hello, I'm Margaret Thatcher. No. Fucking leave her alone. Doesn't Stop fucking. So good to meet you. Yo. Good to meet you too, sir. He's a harasser. He is. Harass your own fucking poor He's girl. Only... Are you thirsty, Sean? What the? what the fuck? Why would you do that? That's some it. fucked up shit, bro. Logan, first time trying Prime. She's gonna answer it again. <laughs> I called it. I literally <laughs> called it. I go, she's gonna fake up. <clears throat> I give it 9.5 out of 10. Get her off. <laughs> Get, off Get her out of here. <laughs> what is 823 milligrams of D's? D's nuts. <laughs> fuck you, Vicky. Fuck. I beat you fuck, too. fuck, bro. I beat you They're too. taking all my jokes. <laughs> hey, look how big this room is. 
Yeah, man. I really splurged on the room, guys. This is called the Salon Suite here at the Encore Hotel because I thought to myself, damn, I got a hot-ass Valentine this year. I better, you know, turn up a little bit and get a big-ass room. But then I forgot, holy shit, this is the first time I'm really hanging out with this girl. She's definitely not going to fucking stay in the room, so I'm just here by myself, uh, which makes sense. That's how things should be when you first hang out with her. You can't just have them fucking... I could have pulled up a nice little cot for her or something like that. But here's the even bigger news. As usual, I'm losing all of my fucking money. I have not won at a Las Vegas casino in years. I don't win any hands. I don't hit any numbers on roulette. I just simply lose. This place fucking sucks. I hate Vegas. Damn, you came up, up, bro. For anybody that doesn't know what these are, these are the Win and Encore chocolate chips. Drake raps about these. $25,000 a pop, dude. So this is $53,000 and then another twenty. dollars You got $75,000 there. I can't believe it. I can't. I started with ten. <laughs> Why would I do YouTube again ever if I could just get rich at the casino? <laughs> you want to do a podcast do with do us? A podcast with us? I don't know, man. What do you think? <laughs> Dude, you could definitely do a DJ setup here, bro. Oh yeah, for sure. But really, it's all about this. It's runway. Runway for Shut what? Up. <laughs> Shut up. Wait. 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 What? The full That's 16 feet. Cool. Cool. You give me a pair of shorts. I'll do this no, right, right now. Right, right there. <laughs> oh God. It's a little high, man. Ah! I said maybe if you had a pair of shorts like trying to call his bluff and he immediately was just like I got shorts right there bro Say something Say something Don't die Oh my god Oh my god Yeah! That was actually a really good job Holy shit <laughs> he was good. I got yeah. so nervous watching that shit. Remember the, the vlog days? We used to do things for the vlog. Yeah, Hell yeah, bro. You could pay me enough money to jump in that ice <laughs> cold glacier water now. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. <laughs> I'm already back and I'm buying NFTs. I do spend a bunch of money on NFTs. We got back here today and there's a project called Riot Girls that David just maybe spent $8,000 on. By the time they see this video, we'll know if it worked out or not. Shout out to Nadja. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. That's a fucking off. I'm sick of this shit. Wizza, you guys remember uh, I did that giveaway for a night shift experience. Well, that kid, his name's John, a flooring specialist from Florida, is arriving right now. So, like, try to put yourself in this kid's shoes for a second. He's watched every episode of the night shift. And then this motherfucker wins a giveaway to come meet me. And you're about to witness that meeting right now. It's almost like you guys are living it along with him. You look just as good on TV Let's as you do. Go. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what he's up, on bro? TV? I'm glad I'm here, dude. Honestly. I'm excited, lifetime, bro. bro. I'm happy to have you. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Mike, have you oh, tried Prime yet? I, it's sold out everywhere. Okay. I'm going to give you your first fucking try of Prime right now. Here, I'll crack it for you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's do this. It's not too strong. It's light. It goes down yeah, smooth. Yeah, I'm going to cut you off. Actually, it's water, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's okay. <laughs> I, just I was like, there's no taste. <laughs> I ran out. I ran out of prime, bro. I'm so I sorry. Know. I will get you some real prime. We don't even have it. We don't even have it. Water. Hey, what's up, guys? You guys want to go to a fucking Lakers game? Well, instead of driving there, why don't we just... No, stop with this cheesy bullshit. It's not funny. Do you guys even follow basketball at all? Yeah. A little bit. That sounded pretty. That sounded pretty. <laughs> How'd you like the experience? The zero to ten, I would say a solid nine point eight. Only because, only because, okay. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. Oh my <laughs> she tried to be funny, but it didn't work. What a shit fucking rating. If that's any indicator of how this burger review is gonna go right now, I swear to God. You gotta come say what you said. I'm FaceTiming this kid's mom, and this dude pulls up and says, What? Oh, uh, what's the fucking rating? He goes, Yo, what's the fucking rating? I'm on the phone with his mom. Exactly. Nice to meet you. Apple Pan. What could I even say about this place? Just absolutely famous LA establishment, even more so locally than in and out. This place has been here since 1947. It's obviously not the same shit that you're used to seeing Smash Burger here on this channel. It's a meaty, actual patty, a t absolute metric shit ton of lettuce. <laughs> Bet you a whole fucking head of lettuce, some pickles, Tillamook cheddar cheese, which is obviously a great cheddar. But then the main thing about it is this hickory smoked barbecue chili. That old fashioned shit, guys. Let's just get into it, dude. Find your bite zone. Yeah, stuff it in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. 
That's actually really fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. Very quality meat. It's got a good amount of juice to it, a good amount of fat content, a great dill, real big circumference to combat the sweetness of that hickory chili. Uh, mm. Fries, straight cut. What I'm eating right now, it feels like the World War II is, is just coming to an end. <laughs> like this feels like what I would be eating, tastes like what I would be eating right yeah. after the Nazis fell, bro. You know what I'm saying? It just feels nostalgic. They're even dressed like it. They got the paper crown hats too. A hundred percent. It's that kind of vibe. And so what it comes down to is like, do I really fuck with that new metaverse NFT web three smash patties? Or do I fuck, or do I fuck with the LA Dodgers? Just left the game in the Buick, going home to watch the black and white screen about V-Day out in Europe. The Nazis just fell. We're celebrating victory here What's in America. What's the president back in that time? Eisenhower. <laughs> the Dwight Eisenhower. Eisenhower. I mean, this is just a great burger, dude. I want to give it a rating that like my grandfather is proud of. For whatever reason, like I feel like my grandfather is going to judge this rating. Shout out Popov up in heaven. If you're watching this episode of the Night Shift, I love you. Just for the brute force of the allied invasion of Europe, apple pan quality burgers, Los Angeles staple. I'm going to give it an 8.4. Johnny, Mitchie, the whole squad out here going fucking crazy. And that's also the end of another episode of the Night Shift. Uh, before anything else, I'm going to use a napkin. And even before I use that napkin, I'm going to say thank you so much for working late with us. We are clocking out. Peace! You got to know when to call it. Yeah. You got to know when to hold them, and you got to know when to fold them. Mm -hmm. And especially, you need to know when to ask your friend for a loan. Dude, did you see that shit? Uh Oh shit, he's got a dick! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's got a dick. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird to do. Oh my god!